In week two, the Raptors traveled south to face off against Nola Gold. The home team jumped out to an early lead through former Barbo Taylor Howden. Feeds. Goes down again, referee says play on, and they're away, the gold. Oh, down this left hand side, Howden beats two, easy as you like. He'll waltz in over the try line for Nola Gold's first try and the first try of the match. It came off of the scrum. When they have to come together for this scrum, it concentrates all the biggest men on the pitch into these scrums. And what that does, it opens up space. You can see how the backs are using that, distributing that fast. But then Towden, he says, I think I've got a good line here. He pulls it off. He deceives his, his defenders and out muscles them at the very end to charge through and get that try. Glenda responded with an 80 meter five pointer. So they give now an attacking opportunity to the fullback. Had a great game last week. DTS to Ryberg. Uh, fired up today as Glendale are going to score a try of their own through William Munro. The import from Bronte Beach in Sydney. They are back. Very, very deep, dangerous position for the Raptors. Backed up right against their door. Both sides dotted down again before half time. To the newcomer, Billy Stewart. And they're over the try line. Look at that brilliant drive. Execution perfect on that occasion. Glendale could do nothing about it. And the Nola Gold have extended their lead 15 points to seven with a conversion to come. That first maul that they attempted didn't work out. But watch this. Right from the line out, they keep it. All the big men come in. They just start pulling it through. Glendale cannot get in defense fast enough to stop their momentum. Boom. The try is scored. So the Raptors now prime real estate on the 22 meter line of Nola. Miss pass to London, another miss pass. Well taken by DTS, nearly through last ditch effort. Here come the Raptors, Ryberg brings it in. He's gonna be hard to put down and they won't. He'll dot down for the Raptors the second try of the match, way out wide. Through the hands to the last man on the pitch. It comes down to a duel. <laughs> Can the Nola Gold stop him? Can they get him out of bounds? They cannot touch him. And he soars into the try zone. Nola opened the second 40 with Howden crossing again. Gale to Howden. Dummies through off the right foot. Howden, they will not stop him yet again. Last year's captain showing how it's done. That was a magnificent try because you saw how Taylor Howden was able to sort of mystify the defender right there, get him to bite on his next guy as if he was going to pass it to him, and instead he just switched the directions right there. He made that cut and shot through, and again, using that speed, that explosive speed that he has for a fairly large player to get through there and to just seal the deal. Fantastic. Nola Gold home stadium is really excited about that one. Glendale got the next two tries through captain Luke White and flanker Willie Munro. And you would have to think, they're going to do the same thing. Line out, bring it down, drive it over the try line. As you saw Munro bring it down. Nola have done well to halt the momentum piling in. But Glendale keeping it tight, still driving as they edge toward the middle of the field. Nola driving through. Ball comes out the back now. Let's see what the backs can do. Ryberg coming in, bumping off one. Strong runner. Same way, 10 on 10. Great defense, Scott Gale on Robert Petzer. Glendale with the ball. Fenolio charging forward. Same way, no one home. Inside pass, easy as you like. Luke White, the captain, will score for Glendale. And this is what we keep saying. This is a quality outfit. You need to hold firm against the Glendale Raptors. Finally went Glendale's way there. Gosh, it was an eternity that they spent in Nola Gold's backyard. And three penalties on Nola this half. I think that might have been the difference maker. It kept uh, the Raptors right there, right there on their throat. They didn't let go. And eventually, when the opportunity presented itself, their big man was right there to charge through and get that try. Petza fires it behind. Good step again from Taikato Simpson, who gets it away to Donitian. Strong tackle from his opposite number, Youngert coming in. Ragdolling him to ground. Ball comes back on Glendale's side. They have numbers out to the left. Can they use them? Keeping it tight now. Same way, go the Raptors, Munro dummies, and he's over. Looks like it'll be a try. Well, the referee says, let's have a look at that one. He feels like it may have been either stripped or held up. 
Looks like the ref's gonna have a little chat. Now they've awarded the try now to the Raptors. Yeah, so Scott, you know, if the referee is not sure about the grounding of the ball, it's all about whether that ball was placed on the ground. It's different to a touchdown. It can't just cross the plane of the line. It needs to be forced on the ground with your hand or a portion of your arm. If you can actually hold it up and prevent him from keeping that ball from touching down, then you have defused the try. Didn't happen there for Nola. But Nola struck back with two quick scores to put the match out of reach. As Nola now in attack, straight through the number 10, Scott Gale. He's looking for support. He might not need it. He won't need it. He'll go all the way. The defense opened like the Red Sea. And that has fired up this New Orleans home crowd. Boy, did they need that. Johnson chips ahead straight into the waiting arms of Feeks and this is what he does so well the seven specialist fires it inside plenty of numbers to burn Foley finds Blewett it's all the way to the try line for Blewett he knows that area extremely well and what about the interchange of play started from the Australian Nick Feeks <laughs> what a great turn of events for Nola Gold. Two tries, probably under two minutes here. And again, the feet of Feeks. Check this out. To, presence of mind to stay in bounds there, tiptoeing against the edge, and then getting it out right when he needs to, to his mates running in support. And again, no selfishness there. Any one of those runners might have wanted that one to keep, but no, they moved it on and got success. It's a penalty to Glendale. This is looking dangerous now for Nola. We're kicking it to touch to get it very, very close to the New Orleans try line. As we've seen before in this game, very dangerous situation for Gold to be in. Zach Finolio overcooks that one again, but in comes Malifa. He takes it. Glendale with the ball. Two meters from the line. White jersey scrambling. They need numbers out to this short side, but it goes the opposite way through Daly. Is he over? Yes, he is. Glendale hit back. Glendale scored late to close the gap, but it was too little, too late. Line out. Looks like Nola could have scooped it up, but does not because of that fast reaction by the Raptors to reclaim possession on the fly, keep their momentum going, move that ball out there and pick up a sorely needed try. Clock reading 40. Next whistle could potentially end it, depending on how much time the ref has kept in his pocket. Elof taps. Looks like no. Puts it into the grandstand. Right under where we're sitting, and that is the end of the match. Nola Gold have made it two in a row. Two from two in the 2019 Major League Rugby season. Raptors coach Dave Williams reflected on the match after the final whistle. We came down here full of confidence. Uh, we trained well all week and we just didn't show up. Uh, the warm up was poor. Uh, we stepped into the first 20 minutes. We were poor. We lacked physicality. We lacked shape. Uh, we really lacked this, the, the intent and intensity we spoke about all week against a, a good Nola, Nola gold team. And really well done to them. You know, they, they, uh, they played well. They beat us and they scored more tries and they just wanted the game more than us, to be quite frank. And that's what my message was at half time. And that certainly was what the message was at a full time to our guys. Uh, obviously, you can tell I'm, I'm pretty disappointed at the moment, as, as everybody is, as every person in the locker room, all the coaching staff is as well. Uh, we'll fight back. We've got a week off now to lick our wounds uh, after a pretty shocking start, to be fair, at 0 2. Uh, we need to bounce back. We need a strong performance against Austin and uh, really rip into the rest of the uh, MLR season.